hi guys welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to see how we can integrate the google gemini pro and gemini pro vision with uefa through the apis so what gemini pro is and gemini pro vision is so gemini pro is the llm tool or llm model which is uh, by google itself and it is same like the chat gpt by openai and through gemini provision we can perform a multimodal task such as visual understanding summarization and creating content from the images and videos so let me first tell you how you can get the apis for both of these and for that we have to go to the ai.aistudio.google.com if you are landing over here for the first time it will tell you how you can get the apis and if you are familiar with you can directly get the apis from the aistudio.google.com so uh, first of all it will ask you to create the project in console.cloud.google.com if once the project will be created you will get the option to get an api or create the api key as you can see i have already created the api so i i am having it with myself so let's go to the ui path and see how we can integrate it here i as you can see i have already created a workflow the gemini pro and gemini pro vision so let me show you what will be the api body uh, for the gemini pro and gemini pro vision let me open it so here you can see we have to give the input prompt over here so whatever the prompts you want to give you can give it to this model and this model will answer it based on the based on its understanding based on its, its uh, data training so this is the body of this api let me go inside the sequence and open it so here you can see i have just used an a dialog box where you can ask the question what you want to ask and then i've used a read text file activity the text file that activity what it will do is it will read the text data from this text file where i have kept the body of this and then it will replace that input prompt with the input prompt coming from the input dialog it's it's it will replace the fixed keyword input prompt with the uh, prompt which is coming from an input dialog activity then what we'll do is here uh, the main thing we are doing we are doing the api call let's hit on configure so this is the api that we are going to use uh, the endpoint that we are going to use let me uh, maximize it a bit so oh, i hope it is visible to you guys so uh, this is the endpoint that i'm going to use and here the api key that i'm passing it so this is our endpoint and uh, the request method will be post and the accept request will be json and the content type is important that we have to pass which will tell the body is in the json format so this is all and uh, once we'll get the response we'll deserialize the response and from that response we'll get the output so from here we'll get our output as you can see in the json response we'll get the candidate and inside that we'll from the first index we'll get the content and in the content there will be the parts under that parts from the first index we'll get the text that is our output for, uh, against the input prompt that we have passed in the input dialog so now let's do one thing this we have all seen how this uh, sequence has been made and how we have how we are consuming the gemini pro api for any input prompt so let me debug it so let's hit on gemini pro click ok let me ask it what is the capital of india and what is famous about the capital so let's hit ok and let's wait for the response ok all right it is saying like text file does not exist okay name has been changed let me correct the name oh, let's debug it 
seven. Let's choose that Gemini Pro hit. Okay, and let's ask the question. I'll ask what is the capital of India and what is famous. So here you can see we got the response New Delhi is the capital of India and it's famous for being the seat of government of India including the Rashtrapati Bhavan, Parliament House and the Supreme Court. So this is how we can integrate the Gemini Pro with UiPath through the APIs. Now let's move to our second part which is the Gemini Pro Vision. So let me open the uh, Gemini Pro Vision API body first what should be included in the body. So here you can see first of all we have to give our input prompt and then we have to give the MIME type what is the type of our file and we have to convert that file into a base64 string format that will be passed as an input and this is the overall body looks like for the API now let me open the sequence and show you how I have made it Okay, let's open it so as uh, as usual I've used the input dialog where we will give our prompt and then I've used the text file activity where I will read the API body and then I will convert the image file into a base 64 string so uh, first of all I have to read the bytes from that image and then from that bytes I have to convert it into a base 64 string so this is the method that will help us to convert an image into a base 64 string let's hit cancel and once this will be done we'll replace the hard-coded keywords with the variables let me maximize it a bit so you can see i'm just uh, replacing the input prompt keyword with the input prompt that is coming from the input dialogs and then and then replacing the base64 keyword with the base64 string that is coming after converting an image into a base64 string format and also what we can do is we can replace this jpg to any uh, file type like png or jp uh, jpg or any other file type we can replace it so in my case i have kept it as it is you can replace it and then we have to use the http request activity where the endpoint is uh, a bit different let me show you this is the endpoint let me maximize it so earlier it was only gemini pro and now it is gemini pro vision and the generate content then we have to, at the end we have to pass the same api key that we have passed earlier so this is the endpoint that we are going to use rest all the details will be same nothing will be going to get changed you can see request method post accept response json and content type is application json and also one more thing i'll show you over here you have to pass the body format is application slash json uh, by default it will be xml format if you will keep it in xml uh, it will throw an error so better to keep it in the application slash json then we'll uh, this is not required we can remove it then we'll deserialize it and again we'll get the data in the same way as we are getting from the Gemini Pro a response so now let me show you the image that I'm going to get uh, I'm going to use so this is the image that I'm going to use and from that from this image I will ask from the model like what and all the dishes are included or uh, vegetables are included and what are the quantities and prones or to utilize it on the daily basis so let's go to the UI path and debug it let me copy the input prompt let me choose Gemini provision hit ok and provide the input prompt let's hit ok so you can see we got the response uh, we got the number of dishes available in that and the quantity along with the dishes and then we are getting the output also if it is what 
and all the minerals or vitamins we are getting it from that uh, vegetables and then what is the pros and cons of eating it on the daily basis so this is all the details we are getting it so you can see with the input prompt it is almost 80 percent like accurate so this is how you can integrate the Gemini provision with UiPerl through API. I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you enjoyed, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. So whenever we upload the next video, you'll get the notification first. We'll meet in our next video. Till then, bye bye. Thank you.